everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to touch on a little bit about keto. And the reason I'm going to touch on that is I've heard a lot of different ones wanting to reduce their weight a little bit or their health is um, not quite what it should be, like they've, they've noticed inflammation in their joints and things. And what I'd like to say is, now this is just me talking because I really don't know. I'm going to try to take them down a road that's maybe easier than, because they don't want to go full keto. They want to they wanna just maybe watch what they're eating in a different way. So what my suggestion is, is look at all the carbs that you're eating. When you're eating something, write down just the carbs. Look on the package of what the carbs are and take note and then I would take that number and divide it by four and that would be the number of carbs that I would try to stay under or around that number like if you say you were eating I don't know maybe 400 carbs per day and you divided it by four you've got a hundred carbs so if you stay under a hundred carbs for that day or for a while you would probably start to feel better and then after maybe a couple months, reduce it again. Try to divide it again by four and or by two. Or at least by half. By two, and then you'd have at least 50, um, stay under 50 total carbs per, per day. And that would help. And then eventually you could divide that by two again, and now you're under 25 carbs per day to the point where you probably could almost go to 20 carbs and then under. So this way you could maybe get there without feeling like you're being deprived because a lot of people don't want to give up a lot of the foods that they enjoy or they could eat less of that food and just count the carbs. Don't worry about your calories right now. Just worry about the carbs and try to stay as low as possible on that and then gradually you can watch your calories and your intake and start to eat foods that will be more satisfying and you won't feel hungry. And then also, I would say delay when you eat. If you're not hungry when you wake up, don't eat. Wait till you are hungry, but don't wait till you're famished because then you'll eat everything and anything and then still not feel satisfied. So that's my topic for today. You try to cut back on sugar too. And sugar, well, that's, that's part of the carbs. That's part of the carbs, but the sugars, like that. a lot of people will say, I don't eat much bread. Well, bread has a high carb. That I don't eat. I only eat fruit. Fruit's very high in carbs too. So just kind of watch what you're eating and cut the carbs lower. If you want some fruit, eat a few berries. Um, the blueberries, strawberries, raspberries, raspberries blackberries. blackberries. Those berries, I would say, eat. And I think you're allowed a cup. I'm not sure how much you're allowed, but I I would say a cup would be a good number to start with and then if you're supposed to have less eventually you would have less per day and so that's what I would do and stay away from apples apple a day does not keep the doctor mm. away they're really high in carbs they've got a lot of fiber but they're high in carbs and so that's my that's my suggestion for those of you that want to try to reduce your um, inflammation and maybe even your weight. I don't know what your what your goal end goal is, but this will help you get there. So that's it for today. I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.